Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, I'm going to show how you can create these connector lines, which are going to be interactive, just like in FigGem within a Figma file. Now, as you know, usually the way that uh, you would create uh, a arrow line is to go over here and uh, create an arrow, and uh, that works uh, fine when it comes uh, to basic arrows, but uh, one step above that uh, is uh, to actually use uh, the pen tool and uh, go ahead and uh, create uh, these uh, connector lines. Uh, and uh, the way that uh, this works is uh, you essentially create this line, uh, then add a little bit of uh, thickness so that we actually see it. Uh, and then you can add uh, a arrow at the very end. Now, one of the most common problems though is that uh, you have these uh, rough edges in the sense that they're not smoothed out but you can simply double click on the line just like it did so simply double click select the edges and then you can uh, round them up and this is going to be helpful and um, I usually use uh, the pen tool whenever I need uh, to basically outline in a very specific way the flow but there's actually an um, even a better way these days which i recently found out and that is you can literally go on figgem create one of these connector lines which by the way you can easily create by simply creating these two elements and you can create a connection line or even directly from here utilizing the arrow tool but essentially the way that this works is you have this connection line which uh, as you can see it's uh, going to move uh, and you can adjust it uh, based on uh, where the element uh, are going to be positioned respectively and you can simply copy it uh, from here and uh, if I paste it you're now going to see that we have a live uh, connector line so there is uh, this one more approach which is going to come in uh, very handy so you can easily just uh, create uh, elements uh, and then you have uh, these uh, these connector lines which uh, you can arrange uh, pretty much how you want uh, and uh, adjust them accordingly now these days i found myself uh, using for the very most part uh, these ones uh, but again keep in mind also the other option which is uh, the pen tool because uh, sometimes it's going to be harder to create like very specific paths so that's why i wanted to show you this uh, this first version like if you need to create uh, stuff like this uh, <laughs> where i mean it's definitely not going to be connections that you're going to make uh, on a daily basis uh, but uh, if you ever need uh, uh, elements like this it's good to know and keep in mind that uh, this option uh, is uh, indeed available. So this is pretty much it uh, when it comes to this uh, mini masterclass on uh, how to create connector lines. And uh, <clears throat> I want to remind you that I recently launched uh, a Figma course, which uh, you can uh, check out uh, on uh, my website. It's over nine hours of uh, content that is going to bring you from uh, beginner to expert in no time. So feel free to check it out uh, and uh, also have hundreds of free videos on Figma on my YouTube channel. So both uh, <laughs> options are available. Cheers.